Welcome back to the Community Corner Podcast, where we explore the companies in the S500 through the lens of behavioral finance. I'm Arnav. And I'm Mikhail. Today, we're turning our focus to Best Buy, the leading consumer electronics retailer in North America. Known for its extensive product range, tech support services, and omnichannel retail strategy, Best Buy has established itself as a key player in the retail industry. We'll be discussing how behavioral finance impacts their decision-making, diversity and inclusion efforts, adaptation to different markets, and how they compare to other companies in the industry. Let's dive in. Best Buy has managed to stay relevant in a rapidly changing retail environment. From a behavioral finance perspective, how do biases like anchoring and loss aversion influence their decision making, especially in pricing strategies and customer service? Anchoring plays a significant role in Best Buy's pricing strategies. The company often uses high initial prices on premium products to create an anchor point in customers' minds making subsequent discounts or bundled offers seem more attractive. This strategy helps drive sales, especially during promotional events like Black Friday or holiday seasons. Loss aversion also influences Best Buy's approach to customer service. Knowing that customers fear losing out on post-purchase support, Best Buy has invested heavily in its Geek Squad services, offering peace of mind through extended warranties and tech support. This not only builds customer loyalty but also reduces the perceived risk of purchasing high-ticket electronics, making customers more likely to buy from Best Buy rather than competitors. And this focus on customer service and strategic pricing has allowed Best Buy to maintain a strong market position, even as e-commerce giants like Amazon have become more dominant. Exactly. Best Buy's emphasis on creating value through customer service and strategic pricing has helped it navigate the challenges of digital competition. While the convenience of online shopping is undeniable, Best Buy's in-store experience and after-sales support give it a unique edge, particularly for customers who prefer hands-on guidance with tech products. Let's talk about diversity, equity, and inclusion at Best Buy. As a major retailer with a broad customer base, DEI is crucial. How does this intersect with behavioral finance? Best Buy's commitment to DEI is integral to its business strategy, particularly in a diverse market like consumer electronics. From a behavioral finance perspective, DEI initiatives enhance Best Buy's ability to connect with a wide range of customers and employees fostering innovation and inclusivity. A diverse workforce brings a wealth of perspectives that can lead to better decision-making and more effective problem-solving. For investors, Best Buy's strong DEI focus signals a forward-thinking approach that aligns with the values of socially conscious consumers. This can increase customer loyalty and attract a broader audience, both of which are critical in a competitive retail environment. Investors are increasingly recognizing the importance of DEI, especially in companies like Best Buy, where understanding diverse consumer needs is key to success. Absolutely. Best Buy's DEI efforts are not just about compliance or public relations, they're a core part of how the company operates and competes. By prioritizing diversity and inclusion, Best Buy strengthens its brand and positions itself as a retailer that values all customers and employees, which is increasingly important to both consumers and investors. Moving on to market adaptation, Best Buy operates in a highly competitive retail environment, both in physical stores and online. How does the company adapt to these challenges, and what role does behavioral finance play in this? Best Buy's market adaptation strategy revolves around an omnichannel approach, integrating online and offline experiences to meet customer expectations. From a behavioral finance standpoint, this strategy addresses the familiarity bias, where customers prefer shopping in environments they trust. 
By offering services like in-store pickup for online orders, Best Buy reduces the uncertainty associated with online shopping, making it a more appealing option for customers. Additionally, Best Buy's price match guarantee addresses price sensitivity and helps retain customers who might otherwise shop elsewhere for a better deal. This adaptability is crucial for Best Buy as it competes with both online giants like Amazon and other brick-and-mortar retailers. And this omnichannel strategy is essential for Best Buy, especially as consumer shopping habits continue to evolve. Their ability to seamlessly integrate different shopping experiences keeps them relevant in a competitive landscape. Exactly. Best Buy's focus on creating a cohesive shopping experience across all channels helps them stay competitive in a rapidly changing retail environment. By understanding and addressing customer behaviors, they can better meet market demands and maintain their position as a leader in the consumer electronics industry. Now, let's compare Best Buy to other companies in the retail industry like Amazon, Walmart, and Target. How do the behavioral finance dynamics differ? Best Buy's behavioral finance dynamics are often compared to other retail giants like Amazon, Walmart, and Target, especially in their approach to pricing, customer service, and market adaptation. Best Buy's emphasis on customer service and in-store experience appeals to consumers who value personalized assistance particularly with tech products. Amazon, with its vast online marketplace and focus on convenience, attracts customers who prioritize speed and variety. Walmart, known for its everyday low prices, appeals to price-sensitive shoppers who seek value across a wide range of products. Target, with its focus on style and quality, appeals to customers looking for a more curated shopping experience. Best Buy's strength lies in its ability to offer expert advice and support, making it the go-to destination for tech-savvy consumers who value service alongside their purchases. And unlike Amazon, which dominates in online convenience, Best Buy's strength is in its ability to provide a hands-on, informative shopping experience, particularly for complex electronics. Absolutely. Each of these companies has its own behavioral finance dynamics that shape how customers perceive their value and how investors assess their potential risks and rewards. For Best Buy, the focus on customer service, day, and market adaptation provides a unique value proposition in the retail industry. To sum up, Best Buy's approach to business is deeply influenced by behavioral finance principles whether it's through their pricing strategies, customer service, or their approach to DEI. But like all companies, they are still subject to the biases and perceptions that can influence consumer and investor behavior. That's right. Understanding these dynamics gives us a clearer picture of what drives Best Buy's performance and where the potential risks and opportunities lie. Thanks for joining us on this episode of the Community Corner Podcast. Until next time, I'm Arnav. And I'm Mikhail. Stay curious and keep questioning the narratives. Thank <laughs> you.